We are on Kick, K-I-C-K dot com. We are live right now, but by the time you see this, we probably won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. <coughs> oh, what's this? If we go live and you happen to miss it and you just want to catch the highlights, it'll be right here. But if you but if you sub doing kick, you can rewatch the entire live. You know what I'm saying? The entire live. I feel like kick. Like people who watch me on stream, they gotta they know me way better than they know all my mannerisms, they know my whole life story, they be knowing everything about me, low key. Everything about me that I divulge. Anyway. Uh don't forget we do got merch out. Link is below as well. This is the Patreon. This is up to date. We got three brand new shows in row four actually, four brand new shows in rotation. We almost done with Sherlock. Sherlock is quick. Anyway, and we got the Discord. Link to all of this below. New proposed UK machete and large knife law. Ban. Your action is needed. Okay. This is by some guy. What's his name? Let me get it right. I don't want to say some guy. Uh... I'm just gonna put it above my head because that is a crazy name. Cause I don't what the hell. <clears throat> Let's get into it though. The UK government's doing it again. They're trying to fight knife crime by banning some random objects. Salute. Hi folks, Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiatoria and also East... Scholar Gladiatoria, okay, that's the... Okay. Antique Arms. For anyone who doesn't know me because you've been forwarded the link to this video, I'm an antique sword dealer. I've been head of arms of a London auction house. Um, I also teach people how to fence, uh, martial arts. I do stuff with film, TV, and I consult for museums. And I do product development as well. So my entire life is affected by the laws that uh, pertain to swords and knives. And since 2008, we've been having a pretty difficult time due to the banning of curved swords. Subsequently, the Home Office realized that they'd accidentally banned things like fencing, reenactment, martial arts, and they quickly had to rush out a bunch of um, exemptions and defenses to enable these hundreds of thousands of people to continue with their completely peaceful and law-abiding activities. But with ever-increasing knife crime statistics in the UK, rather than looking at the causes uh, and trying to deal with the underlying issues, yet again the Home Office has pulled out their favourite trick of wanting to ban something. This time they're turning their attentions to machetes and large knives. So this affects a far larger number of people in the country trades, crafts, hobbies of all sorts, not just us Farmers. sword users. Now what I'm going to do here is present my response which I've sent. Imagine having to ban swords. Like think about, really think about, like I've seen in CCTV footage somebody use, <laughs> using one of these where my arrow is behind him. Like I've seen it. Unguard, my fellow good op. Like, what are y'all on? Oh, man. ...to the Home Office. I'm going to share a link to that below as well, and also a link to the consultation. So this is currently a consultation process. What you can do to make a difference here is to respond to the consultation. Obviously, I suggest that you do so in an intelligent, coherent, well-edited and concise way maybe more concise than me, um, so that it will have the most Sir? effect and help the officials at the Home Office to realise the pitfalls of what in crime, despite the fact that we know that the vast majority, practically all, in fact, of knives used in crime, statistically are kitchen knives or tools like screwdrivers and chisels. But nevertheless, they're looking at machetes and large knives, and they have to it, read the consult... They want to ban the shocking stuff. The shocking stuff. Like, you can't ban a... A Phillips screwdriver or a flathead screwdriver, but you can ban a machete because the shock value is there. I'll take the um, consultation document below, but fundamentally they're looking at banning or prohibiting knives which contain m two or more of the three characteristics. One, a single edge. Two, a serrated edge. And three, more than one hole in the blade. 
as many of you <laughs> will immediately realise, this covers a whole raft of objects which aren't necessarily the things that they're intending to ban. But yeah, 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 yeah. That's a lot of stuff. Single edge, I mean, multiple holes. Now, I'm just going to read through my response. You can uh, absorb that and hopefully it will help you to form your own response. Dear sir or madam, I'm writing specifically in response to the government consultation looking at the proposal to add a new object to the Offensive Weapons Act 2019. I want to focus on three specific points that I feel have been drastically overlooked. Number one, the proposal could cause more deaths from stabbing. Number two, the proposed text... That's true. That's true. The proposal could cause more deaths from stabbing because with, <laughs> my bad, with these instruments that they are banning, they're going to have to, the criminals are going to find something to substitute for them that are even more dangerous or even more like not straight edged or, or not something that can be easily repaired by a doctor erroneously covers many objects that are common tools. Three, the proposal must include exemptions and defences for legal activities. I'm a military historian and fencing instructor consulting for TV and films as well as being an antique military dealer. I go on to basically give my resume. I won't share that with you here. <laughs> Thank you. While I fully understand the impetus and desire for new anti-knife crime activities, given the troubling statistics, I was alarmed to read the 2023 proposed legislation updates to the Offensive Weapons Act 2019. I feel this proposed proposal sorry, is very wide of the mark and will do more harm than good. It does not at all seem to achieve the goals of the government, in brackets, to reduce knife crime and make us safer. In fact, it could increase the number of deaths, as I will expand on below. In addition to that, I can see a lot of pitfalls evident in the text, which will adversely affect civil servants enacting and forcing it, for example, police and border force, as well as trades and hobbies trying to comply with it, such as reenactment, bushcraft, fishing, TV, film and theatre, gardeners, DIY, etc. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. I said that in the beginning, like, gardeners can't even go garden. Like, what if you got a root? that's too big and you need a machete to cut that mug like you what you supposed to use a, a pair of kitchen shears which what your draft proposal appears impractical and counterproductive number one the proposed legislation will make the streets more dangerous As uh, okay come on Talk to me about the streets. I know you're not involved, but talk to me. I'm sure you're aware right. the Office for National Statistics, the ONS, estimates that over 80% of knife violence is committed with kitchen knives, with a large proportion of the remaining 20% being carried out with tools such as box cutters, chisels and screwdrivers. There are pre they are predominantly used to stab, not chop. Kitchen knives and garage tools are omnipresent and easily obtainable. There are no official He's spitting all facts. Tool statistics in the UK, but it is thought by those working in the field that I have spoken to, police, doctors, lawyers, uh, civil servants, that violent crime with machetes makes less than 2% of the total of uh, knife crime. Um, violent crime with swords seems to be well below 1% and in fact is so rare as to be not measured or quantifiable in any of the available um, official statistics. I can see that. It's just be like shot. They, people see, like you see them a lot on YouTube and on in videos because Obviously, it's shocking and crazy to see somebody with a machete or a katana blade outside, you know, spinning your block. But I, I would imagine it's rare, especially the katana blade. Curbing the availability of other forms of knife will have no effect on the availability of kitchen knives chisels and screwdrivers, of course. Zero. Kitchen knives and screwdrivers are cheap and omnipresent, so these statistics are not at all surprising. Kitchen knives and screwdrivers seem to be the default weapons of knife crime in the UK at the moment, based on the data available to us, with things like machete wounds being very rare, statistically. If a machete is not available to an attacker, a kitchen knife always will be. A machete, or indeed most of the prohibited zombie knives, is usually less dangerous than a kitchen knife. 
Stab wounds are far more dangerous on average than cuts are, oh, and wow. statistically more likely to... See, he took it to a place where I wasn't even thinking. Stab wounds are way more dangerous than slices. ...result in death. Kitchen knives are usually far sharper on both the edge and the point than a typical machete or zombie knife. Zombie knives are often virtually blunt to the touch compared to a kitchen knife and relatively useless as weapons of offence, being often intended as display items primarily. Most standard garden machetes are relatively blunt. You're forgetting the ingenuity of a criminal. I will say that, though. You are forgetting. I hear your statement is rare. But come on now, you don't think people are sharpening those before they go outside? They can be sharpened. I'm pretty sure they are being sharpened. Compared to kitchen knives at least. And broad tipped, being used to hack, and designed to hack, not stab. They will not generally penetrate clothing with a stab due to their tip shape. Machetes are therefore, in general, less dangerous medically than kitchen knives or chisels or screwdrivers are, and those other things that are predominantly used in stabbing. If the criminal intended to use a machete were to switch to a kitchen knife, then your legislation has only succeeded in making the attacker more dangerous. And we should expect... I see he's trying to get a point across. His point is super valid deaths to increase correspondingly surely enough criminals um let me tell you about these criminals man let me tell you something especially about knife crime right a lot of people are swinging like he said to cut to slice it's, it's rare where you get up on somebody and they they really trying to insert twist and turn you know what i'm saying it's very rare so he, 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 he's valid right now. He's valid. You're going to turn pump fakers into real shooters out here. Like real, like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all get the analogy that I'm trying to make right now. Pump fakers where you fake like you're going to do something. Like where you fake like you're going to, you're going to turn them into real doers. Encouraging criminals to switch to using more dangerous kitchen knives is a recipe for disaster. Criminals choose machetes for intimidation due to their size. Big facts. It's the shock value. Not due to their medical knowledge or understanding of how weapons work. Doctors will tell you that kitchen knives are often more dangerous to life than a machete is, and criminals will always have access to kitchen knives. Therefore, the only logical evidence-led approach is to concentrate all efforts on the causes of knife assaults, including robust stop and search powers, which police apparently want. Not to try and ban ever greater numbers of tools when kitchen knives will always be available in every kitchen to every potential attacker. Number two. The proposed legislation will accidentally ban many common tools. The wording of the proposed legislation is such that it will create confusion amongst those enforcing it, enforcing it and those living there. You know what they're going to do with his letter? They're going to scan that mug, like, you know, scan it with their eyes. They're going to look through it and then throw it in a pile to be filed. And then everything he's saying is going to come to fruition if, if, if this proposed UK knife law comes into effect and then they're going to be backtracking trying to fix it instead of dealing with it right away everyday peaceful lives by covering a an array of objects which are not intended to be banned the standard machete is a garden tool like a billhook or a sickle a standard machete does not have a serrated edge nor does it have any holes in the blade usually your proposed text, therefore, will not cover a normal garden machete. However, the proposed wording will ban certain types of other tool that are practically never used in violent crime, as far as we can see from the available statistics, and are usually less dangerous anyway than a standard kitchen knife. 
any text that you devised to cover a normal garden machete would also cover such tools as bill hooks, sickles, carving knives, spoke shaves, lawn mower blades, kebab knives, or meat cleavers. As is probably clear to you, these tools are used by numerous trades and hobbies the length and breadth of the UK. That's true. And are you can't even go to a kebab shop and get you shop and get you a good little, you know what I'm saying? Chicken shawarma or whatever they be slicing up in there. Are essential to those trades and hobbies. Why can inconvenience hundreds of thousands, possibly millions, of citizens when most of the knife crime is being conducted with kitchen knives? Has always been and will always be, regardless of what you ban. The criteria you pro propose of banning knives over a certain size, with blades having any two of one, a conventional edge, a serrated edge, and more than one hole in the blade, accidentally runs the risk of covering a wide range of non-offensive and practically never used in crime tools. The ambiguities even extend to the most fundamental question of what qualifies as an edge of a blade. For example, if a kitchen knife has not yet had the grip scales added to it, then what you have is a blade with more than one hole in it. So that would be a prohibited illegal item. This would become banned, therefore. And how would a company manufacturing kitchen knives ever get to construct them uh, before they've put the grips on. Many gardening tools have serrated saw edges. I think he's reaching right there, but continue. Edges and holes in the blade. Many DIY saws have a serrated edge and holes in the blade. Chainsaws have serrated edges and holes in the blade. Ooh, okay. Many types of scissors and kitchen knives have holes in their blade, and certain types of sport fencing and historical reenactment swords also have holes in their blades. The list goes on and on. Three, exemptions and defenses. We have already hopefully learned a lot of lessons from the disastrous banning of curved swords, and needless I should add, in 2008, and the subsequent amendments um, by the Home Office to deal with the wording of the legislation to allow the numerous popular legal activities enjoyed by hundreds of thousands of UK citizens to continue although not unimpeded, I, I have to say, such as fencing. I think we get it at this point. Um, once again, the government is looking to patch... They're looking to patch something instead of replacing the, the entire problem. You know what I'm saying? That's not going to fix it. It's not going to... He's making a valid point. There's kitchen knives. 80% of this is done with kitchen knives. The other percent is done with garage tools like a bad guy is always going to find something to do bad stuff with at the end of the day so don't harm regular citizens with this bullshit ass laws that they be coming up with man and at the end of the day uh, i get it you want to protect you want to get these crimes off the street well you know let's not look at the the obvious thing to do the obvious wrong thing to do. Let's 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 take a little deep dive. Let's let's really focus in. DLL, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'm gone.